Hello and welcome to another home workout with me, Stefan. I hope you're well, feeling strong and ready to get into it today. This is a total body resistance based exercise routine for beginners to intermediate. So as long as you're injury free, but you're looking to add resistance training into your efforts to become fitter, leaner and stronger, uh, then this routine is going to be perfect for you. If you have been training for a little bit longer, maybe you can see yourself more into an intermediate range, uh, then you can increase the resistance, you can increase the training intensity with faster movements, uh, get a bit more explosive and work that cardiovascular system a little little bit more and get some great benefits with this same routine. Now I have two 10 kilo dumbbells with me today, certainly wouldn't suggest starting with that resistance if you are in that beginner range, uh, maybe something like a 3, a 4, maybe even a 5. Um, go lighter than you think you might need for this routine. You can always repeat the routine or the workout later in the week and, and use a bit more resistance that time. But um, for today, I want this to be uh, authentic and so you can see how I'm working today. Now I have got a mat, uh, you want a nice cushioned mat underneath you because we're going to do a couple exercises where we're on the floor. Uh, and I also have a bench over here that's to raise the position of my hands for some of these high plank uh, core exercises, which again, if you're at that beginner level, that's going to make it a little bit easier to complete those exercises with good form, good technique for the entirety of our, our session today. Okay, so the workout today is going to go like this. We have two sequences of three exercises. Each exercise is 50 seconds of work with a 10 seconds rest. So we're going to go through each sequence three times. We get a 30 second recovery at the end of each round and then uh, we'll move on to our second sequence. So I'm going to go through the exercises just before we get to them in the workout, but I'll, I'll go through them now as well so you can see the exercises. Our first exercise in our first sequence is an alternating dumbbell squat, stepping out to the side, alternating sides with the dumbbells in that racked position, so at shoulder height. Second exercise is dive bombers. You can be doing those from the floor, from the mat, or I'll demonstrate them also from the bench for that slightly easier position as well. And then a figure of eight, which is a single dumbbell exercise working the core and the shoulders. Our second sequence goes like this. We've got alternating reverse lunges. So we're stepping back into a reverse lunge, dumbbells in hands, and alternating sides. We then have scorpion mountain climbers where we bring the knee under underneath the body and across uh, with each movement. And then finally, we're going with a squat to overhead press, alternating the side of that press with each squat. So one press for every time we squat. Okay, so that's our sequence of exercises. We're gonna get into our warm up now. We're gonna start off taking our hands onto our hips and going into big circles, getting the body moving and uh, nice and loose, ready for this workout. So I like this exercise a lot. You know, if you've seen my videos before, I try to include this in most warm ups. Uh, connects uh, how we're feeling with the, the hips, the low back, uh, and just gets, uh, gets the body moving. And from here, we're guiding with the hands, uh, taking those hips out just in smooth movements, not too fast. We'll change directions now, and feet planted firm to the floor so that you're just nice and stable, nice and balanced as we move through this first movement. All of these, just take your time with these, follow along with me, and uh, let the breathing find its own way that feels comfortable. We're going to take our hands out and around into rotation, horizontal, working across. And this is going to get the spine nice and loose, keeping the chest up. Notice how I'm turning my rear foot on the ball of my toe. Just so as I pivot around, I'm getting that turn through the body, through the trunk, not through the knees. Okay, one more. And from here, I'm going to go into an overhead reach and then down into a ski jumper or a pendulum squat type movement. So weight into my heels, breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up, getting the ankles, the knees, the hips, the shoulders, the back, nice and loose, nice and warm. Again, just take this at a pace that's right for you. If that's slower than my pace, that's fine. We're going to widen my stance now, feet slightly turned out, and then we're going to reach the hand to the opposite side of the body, to the opposite foot, maybe to the, the shin, maybe the knee, maybe lower down toward the foot or the floor, whatever's comfortable for you. And again, just taking that pace as it's comfortable. All right, we've got about 60 seconds before we get into our first exercise. So inner thighs, adductors, hips, getting nice and loose and warmed up with this one. Okay, one more. Okay, so standing with the feet a bit closer together, I'm going to take my hands and reach down to the outside edge of the ankle on one side, up overhead, and then over to the other side. And 
getting that nice stretch through the side of the body. Again, getting another variation on our squat. So the hips, knees, ankles getting nice and loose and through the spine as well. 15 seconds. So we're gonna go into the demonstration for our first exercise. Alternating step out squats or side squats from that racked position. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells. And shoulder height, feet together to start. Here we go, step down, up to the center. So again, nice and slow and deliberate with this tempo. Breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. Just taking this slow. Weight back into the heels, sitting back into the hips, staying balanced, eyes on the horizon, keeping that chest up. Dumbbells more or less resting against the front of the shoulders. And just take that step out as wide as it's comfortable for you. Slow and deliberate, focusing on control. Five, four, three, we get one more. Excellent, dive bombers next. So body weight, I'm gonna demonstrate this first round on the bench. So you can see that raised surface, feet wide, hands wide, and pushing back, and then dropping forward, just as low as is comfortable for the lower back, with that hip dropped forward, weight into the palm heels, up on the toes. <sighs> Breathing out as you push the floor away and push those hips high. Keep the navel drawn in toward the spine to engage the core. 15 seconds more. Letting those heels move, pivot forward and backwards over the toes. Stay up on those toes. And last five seconds. Very good. All right, so our third exercise, our figure of eight. That's our single dumbbell. Feet stable and planted to the floor. Dumbbell in one hand and breathing in time with that circular movement. Getting that cross, cutting that shape in front of the body with the arms, reaching out just as long with that lever length as we can. The more we reach out in front of us, the more we work the core shoulders and get our cardio working as well 15 seconds more tight turns bring that dumbbell around and back into the next rep two one very good all right so we get a little bit of recovery that's our first three exercises I'm just going to reposition this mat. If you need a little sip of water at any point, little sips are best. That way you're not taking on too much water and sloshing around. 20 seconds and we'll get back into our first exercise. So the ultimate step out squat. So do have a look up on screen in those rest periods at the exercises. Here we go, just under 10 seconds. Ready to go, dumbbells in hand, tight grip. At shoulder height, feet together, and step out, down. We're gonna make this shape of the upper body, the hands holding those dumbbells in that racked position, and the chest up, a strong, stable position for the upper body. Exhale as we drive up. But again, taking this just as slow as you need to, as we step out, keeping those knees wide, elbows down toward the knees or just as low as you can go. 15 seconds now. <sighs> Breathing in time with each repetition. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Dumbbells down, dive bombers next. From the bench or from the mat, Feet and hands wide. Here we go. 
a little bit harder from the floor. Again, match it to what you need for the workout today. Same technique, however, letting those heels move back and forward over the pivot point, the contact of the toes on the floor. Nice long reach with those arms. Keeping that navel drawn in and upward toward the spine. And last five seconds now. Working those shoulders, triceps and core. And very good. So our figure of eight coming up now. Once again, plant the feet firm and off we go. Good. So tighter turns, smaller circles, makes it more challenging. Again, go with the speed and the movement that feels right. Good. Feeling the core and the back together. Working like a corset, tightening up, stabilizing around the spine, the rib cage, the hips. 10 seconds. Really working the core and the shoulders too. And very good. Very good. Get our little bit of recovery now. Extra 30 seconds. Breathe. You can hear that uh, cumulative effect of one uh, set of exercise, not one set of repetitions after another, after another, builds up that aerobic cardiovascular work. Even when we're working slowly, deliberately, with more control. A great workout. Feet together, rack squat. Last time. Three, two, one. Here we go. Step down with control. And breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Just as wide a step as is comfortable for you. Chest up, looking at the horizon or the wall in front. And then drawing that navel in. And nice and tall at the top. All right, we've got 15 seconds more. Step, down and up. Step, down and up. And five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Dive bomber next. Go back to the bench to demonstrate from this position. Up on the toes and pushing back and dropping forward. Core, shoulders, arms, and even the hips working here. As we come up and push back, draw that navel in toward the spine and crunch. You can crunch those abdominals to pull the hips up, as well as the arms pushing back. So some tricep work, chest and shoulders, but also very much the abdominals working. We've got 15 seconds to go. Back and forward. Nice mobilizer for those shoulders as well. Straight line from head through to hips. And last one. Very good. So our figure of eight, our single dumbbell at the ready. Here we go. Feet solid, rooted to the floor. And just making those turns to trace that figure of eight on its side, that cross or X in front of the body. Again, match the weight to what is right for you. Long reach with those arms and shoulders, back, core, 
biceps, triceps, hips, all working together. 10 seconds left. Last exercise of this first sequence. And five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Whew. All right, great job. Next sequence, alternate reverse lunge. So we're gonna want those two dumbbells at the front of our workout space. Space behind us. 20 seconds. Grab a little sip of water if you need it, a brow mop. So taking our time once again with this reverse lunge, keeping the weight onto that lead foot. So as we step back, we're still keeping the weight on that lead foot. Here we go. All right, five seconds, dumbbells in hand. Pick your starting leg and then step back and switch. Working a bit of that balance as well. Keeping that heel of that lead foot solid to the floor, the rear foot just helping with a bit of balance, but roughly 80% of our weight is on that lead foot, hinging down, keeping the body nice and tall. Nice proud posture, dumbbells in a strong grip at arm's length. Breathing out as we stand tall. 10 seconds more. Working those legs, quads, glutes, and hamstrings and driving up. Excellent. All right, scorpion climber next. Again, on the bench to demonstrate this first one. Feet together, hands about shoulder width, coming underneath and across to the opposite forearm, opposite wrist. Twisting just as much as you can to get that oblique muscle working to the side of the midsection. And you get a pace that's right for you. 20 seconds to go. Stay up on the toes. Don't want those heels dropping back. Stay right up on the toes, 10 seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And then we've got our squat to alternate or to overhead press, alternating sides. Here we go, rack squat, down and up to full arms reach, down, full arms reach. Nice and controlled. You can take this just as fast or as slow as is right for you. Good. Breathing in through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and chest up. Weight into the heels, keeping those heels flat to the floor. And 15 seconds left. Down, up. Doing well. Legs, core, and shoulders. One more. Excellent. All right. One round done. Two more to go. 30 seconds recovery now. So breathe, get a brow mop. Gonna grab a little sip. Starting again with the reverse lunge. Okay, less than 10 seconds. Dumbbell in each hand. Starting either side, either foot. Here we go. Step back, but keep the weight on that lead foot. Control is the name of the game. Slow and deliberate. Really connect that heel to the floor on the lead side. Think about the ankle, the knee, the hip, and the muscles of the glutes, quads, the front of the thigh, the hamstrings, the back of the thigh, 
working together to pull you back up to that standing position. 10 seconds. Nice proud posture through the upper body. Hinge at the hips and then drive tall. And one more. All right, very good. Scorpion climbers. I'm gonna go for the floor this time. And again, you go with what's right for you. And feet together, twist, twist. Getting that knee moving across underneath the body to the opposite elbow, forearm, or wrist. Or just as far forward as you can. Good. Breathing out with each movement, each knee drive. Weight into those palm heels, strong and stable like a bridge. From one palm over the shoulders to the other palm. Four, three, two, one. Great job. We have our squat to press. Next, feet wide, down, up, and keeping that chest up, pushing to arms reach, overhead, slow, controlled on the way down, keeping that chest up, halfway through on this last movement of our second, second round of our second sequence and tall at the top. Here we go, 10 seconds and up, five, four, three, two, one, very good. Ah, and rest. 30 seconds. Make the most of that recovery. We have just one more round. You can do this. So that extra 30 seconds rest really coming in useful to recover. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's get those dumbbells ready. Just one more round and then we are done. You can do this. Stable and strong. And here we go. Stepping back, down and up. Switching leg each time we perform a repetition. Down and up. Again, tall at the top. Straight line from head through hips to heel. And control the descent. We're not dropping fast, but lowering slowly and with control. Shifting our weight from left to right over that lead leg with each rep. 10 seconds to go. Chest up, hinge at the hips. Feel those legs working. Down, up, down and up. Great job. So one more time, our scorpion climbers. Here we go. Hands about shoulder width, feet together and twist. Twist at the midsection. Twist the trunk, the body, getting those obliques and deep core muscles. Again, exhale with each repetition, each drive forward of the knee, tucking that navel in, not dropping or bowing the body, but keeping strong through the core. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left now. Good, five, four, three, two, one, all right, one more exercise to go. Two dumbbells, getting our squat and overhead press to finish. One, 
and one, two, and two. You can match my pace. You can go slower, you can go faster. Just work with what's right for you. Getting as full a range of movement as you can. 20 seconds to go. Dig deep. You got this. Last 15 seconds. That's all it is. Breathe with each movement. Five, four, three, two, one, and very good. Woo! Excellent work. Well done indeed. That is our workout. We're going to get into our cool down. So we're going to start that by bringing our hands out and around. Getting that rotation, but also getting that nice breeze across the arms. Nice and cooling. Once again, you can hear from my voice how that cumulative effect of working for three exercises with a reasonably short rest period builds that cardio through the routine. Side bend and reach up and overhead with those feet square and over to the other side. Holding for a few moments and then back the other way, stretching right the way down the side of the body, the lats, intercostals between the ribs, into that space between the lower ribs and the pelvis, even the top of the glutes, getting a bit of a stretch with this one. And again, up and over. Good. All right, from here, I'm gonna take a step forward, reach down, bend the rear knee, straighten the lead knee, and then come up, switching my stance, bending that rear knee, keeping the lead knee straight. Gonna be getting that hamstring stretch, the back of the upper thigh, and I'm going to do one more on each side after this. So up, down, let that breathing come back under control slowly with nice deep breaths. Okay, I'm going to widen my stance and I'm going to shift my hips to one side, reach back toward the straight leg foot. That's gonna get the stretch through the inner thigh on that straight leg. And up and over to the other side. Again, the stretch on the inner thigh, the adductor of the straight leg as I reach back towards that straight leg foot. And up and over again. So I don't need to get too low with my side lunge kind of squat position. Rather, it's how much I reach to this straight leg. Okay. And again, onto the other side. Just get a comfortable position with the feet. Slightly turned out to make it nice and comfortable for the ankle position. All right, I'm going to bring my feet together. I'm going to hug a giant beach ball or stability ball or a tree and getting that stretch through the muscles in the upper back. A little side bend as well, from side to side, bringing that right into the muscles either side of the spine. And from here, evening out, we're gonna open up. Nice big stretch. Take the arms into circular motion here. Really opening up the chest and shoulders. All right, from here we're gonna go into a shoulder roll. That's the arms down by the sides. Flex and extend the spine. And we're working those shoulder blades across the back, the upper back. 
Getting a nice bit of movement through those shoulder blades as well as the spine. All right, fantastic work. Well done indeed for the effort that you've put into that workout. Once again, a great routine there for beginners or intermediates. You can um, adapt that as you need to with resistance, with the pace, with the, the positions of some of these exercises. Taking it slow and controlled is really, again, the focus of these workouts uh, for those who are learning to add resistance training into their routine. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this has been beneficial, beneficial for you. I will see you very soon on the next one. And in the meantime, take care of yourself.